I like that on my phone I have three cameras, so it looks like two eyes and a mouth. <laughs> oh, it does. He's like, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> looks surprised. Oh, my volume's up, and I got an ad. Should we go and for if it? if I skip, we're good. Okay. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. It's Wednesday. Emily is here with me today. Hello. We're going to paint... In the public domain, Pooh Bear. So illustration. So the very first Winnie the Pooh book is in the public domain now. And then I printed out um, E. H. Shepard's line art because I think it, I I don't have an original book, but it might have all black and white, just pen and ink drawings in it. I'm not sure. If somebody knows, let us know in the comments um, or in the chat. Uh, and then I colored in with colored pencil, and this is actually just a printout of that. Emily swaying back and forth behind the camera. So um, I'm gonna grab my phone. We're gonna fly over to my art table. That was kind of funny. It was like a I was just trying to see around that weird the claw. Oh, lamp. is that what you were doing? Yeah, I was just, but it did. I was consistently swaying. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I'm like, that's a little distracting. Just a little. Let's see. I don't know where I is that where I usually put yeah, that. Yeah, and then I once you're in, I tape. Okay. Whoop. Man, not bad. Not okay. bad. How are you? are good. I'm good. I'm, I'm standing taped. on a. I'm. Are you tangled? <laughs> I wish I could see that's cut in my <laughs> shoe. Oh, it is. <laughs> Sorry if I'm laughing really loud into my mic. Oh, that's funny. Where am I cut, honey? Um, uh, on your heel. It's like wrapped all the way around you. So, do you see? Oh, it's on my other heel? Yeah. Okay, sorry guys for the delay. That would be good. That would be pretty entertaining, though, to watch. Well, I'm, at, I'm i got to switch over to me. I'm operating as you. Okay. Oh, I meant to put that. We're going to do a Rachel Ray. So that was, um, that's what I'm going to jump to once I get <laughs> the background painted. So I have a 5-inch by 7-inch canvas panel from U.S. Art Supply. I like that they're 100% cotton archival quality. I like the ones from Michaels just as well. I'm gonna double check because I just flipped that around. So I just cut out, um, you can find this, if you wanna use this as a traceable, it's in the Annie Tro Art Friends group. Go under the media tab at the top and then go to albums and there's only one album. It's, it's refer a reference album. But I'm just gonna make sure my horizon line is about where I want it. I just eyeballed it and marked it. Oh, I think we're good. Okay, and I scribbled on the back with chalk pastel. I know a lot of you guys know that, and some of you are new. I never know who's watching when. Okay. I'm going to put my reference printout that I flashed in the beginning up on my little bulletin board. So I measured up. I could tell you how far that is, but it's going to vary depending on how you paint it, how far up you want it. But it's three and five-eighths from the bottom. I just hit the phone with the, <laughs> and then the art hug guy just fell down. <laughs> okay, let's just do that. Am I in frame? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I look at my You're phone. You're a little high, but. Oh, okay. I looked at my phone, and I, let's scoot stuff down a little bit. I forgot to check. Okay, is that better? Yeah. It'll take you a minute to see. How's everybody doing tonight? We're warming up. We got so, so, so cold and now we're getting warmer again. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, crazy. Oh, I kind of did this weird. I don't know how I, maybe I did it like this. Um, I have Mars Black. I think you guys told me you like to see the paint too. I just saw somebody, somebody comment. <laughs> happened to look at the top of my phone. Yeah, it's 42 out right now. I know. We got the, the studio window open. Thalo blue green shade. That's this blue. I use these colors a lot. Quinacridone magenta. I consider them primaries. You could use like a thalo blue or a cobalt blue or something. Cadmium yellow medium hue. That's this. And titanium white. Okay. And I just mixed an orange with a little bit of quinacridone, a lot of yellow, 
Um, a light yellow because we're going to paint sort of the sun glow. And I mixed some sky color, so a little bit of black in both of these. Actually, that might be a little bit of black in this one. I think I put a little orange in it too, but it went green. So it's a little bit of black in the phthalo blue, just to mute it down. I don't know how many, gosh, I thought I was all ready. Oh, you know what I need to do? Um, this is tape from Hippie Crafter. Oh, that is? And it's actually a little lower tack. Yeah, I bought it. Hmm. Um, it's a little lower tack than the tape I buy at Michael's or Blick Art Materials. And so far, I'm really liking it. Of course, if it's lower tack, it might... Bleed? Yeah, it might go under a bit. Yeah. But so far, I'm really liking it. I used it in another video, and I can't remember which one. And I got all excited. Oh, the uh, muted pine tree where I used Hooker's Green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ended up really liking the tape on the paper. Cute. Yeah. I don't know why that's cute, but that's cute. And you can just <laughs> go to their website or Amazon to buy it. You don't have to use that affiliate link in my videos. Uh, whatever you like, to, whatever you want to do works for us. All right, so I'm talking, and I'm not sure... I'm looking for a brush. Is the table set? I think the table is set. Okay. I well, think, well, actually, <laughs> oh, three eighths inch flat brush. I'm going to use. Okay. Okay. Well, um, we were discussing this. So this is the first year on our when we cut back um, on the videos for like two weeks. Uh, we were one. We, this is the first year that we've kept. We've continued to do the lives. Usually, we stop the lives and cut down on a video or something. Um, but I think we cut down on two videos and are doing the lives in one video. I don't know. We don't do four a week, but yeah. Um, true. Maybe it's just four posts a week then. Anyway. Yeah, we do four posts. We um, cut down on two posts a week. But we have 19 friends with us, and I saw oh, 22 just a hey. couple seconds ago. So I don't think we're about <laughs> normal. <laughs> well, I like the lives because I get to know you guys better. And I like having company while I'm, I'm painting. And let's see. In the chat tonight, we have Suzanne, Cindy, Gravy, Bonita, uh, Melinda, Glenda, and Swagman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm just painting a white circle. And I'm making it bigger than I think I'm going to want it. Because uh, I'm going to grab some of this light yellow. And work kind of work into it a little bit. I said this was a five by seven inch canvas panel, didn't I? I think I did. I don't know. I don't remember. I should have lightened my line. You can see it. I'm going to kind of beat on it and see if I can get it to dissolve into the paint. And gravy covered our base. Hit that like button and share with your friends on social media. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I think when I painted the other one, I painted the blue. I did it the other way. I painted the blue and came into the white, and then I glazed over the yellow. Oh. Gosh darn it, and I just did it yesterday. I can't... You know, I, I don't walk and talk and chew gum all the time. <laughs> we'll see how this works. But that line's bugging me. We'll bring our snow line up. Uh, and Suzanne said, uh, good evening, gals. How's it going? It does not feel like Wednesday. I kept having to oh, remind myself. Yeah. Chase thought that um, Monday was Sunday. And he was like, wow, I'm so excited to just have like a quiet day. And then tomorrow I also get a day off. And I'm like, no, that's today. Oh, <laughs> that's hard. It is weird because it gets all messed up with the holiday. We celebrate Christmas. Depends on which holiday you're talking about. So I'm washing out my brush. And Cindy, I just saw that Cindy um, had said, uh, hope you had a wonderful Christmas. We had a nice I did. Christmas. Mm -hmm. I had, did. You had a big Christmas. I had a, I yeah. Going. Yeah, Chase and I go to, what's nice is we don't go on the same day. I was just, we were just talking about that at lunch. It's nice that um, we, you, you're, for Chase and I, you, side of family, does Christmas at a different, on a different day than Chase's side of the family. So we just have one to one. But Chase, I think Monday I was working a little bit in the basement and Chase took like an hour's nap. Like he was like, and really all we do at his family is, is like hang out, cook, eat, 
thing. It's not like there's a lot of like entertaining to happen from people and whatnot. And, um, but still, he's just like, I needed a nap. <laughs> I was tired. Mm -hmm. It was eventful. So I just put some darker blue in the corner and I'm hoping my yellow will dry. I totally did this wrong. Well, not wrong. I just didn't do it in a way that's going to be efficient for no hair dryer use during a live. Mm -hmm. You can do it either way. Acrylics are really forgiving, especially when you dry them. I like to paint the sides. Yeah, we started Christmas Eve maybe when I, I was the first to get married. Mm-hmm. And so your gram started that so that everybody could make it. Mm -hmm. Well, but we always did Christmas Eve presents anyway. Santa came on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. um, and then Christmas dinner the next day, but no Christmas morning presents. Everything came. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't a total change. And for a while, that, that still kind of continued. I mean, um, your aunt and uncle would go to the other side. You were the first to get married? Yeah. That wasn't Mark and Lynn? Nope. Oh. Well, I got married really young. Touche. And, yeah, no. And your cousin was in between you and Jack, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Not that that necessarily means anything. Mm -hmm. This is working. It's getting a little green, but it's yeah. working. Yeah, I like, I like. It's, it's kind blending. of blending a little bit because mm -hmm. it's still a little wet. It, very, it matches the sun dye. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, that's also, it's like the blue of his glasses. Oh, it does. It's that aqua blue I like. Yeah. I'm going to lighten. Or actually, well, yeah, maybe I am. This feels a little strong to me. So I'm just painting arches. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if it goes a little green. I'm going to... Um, Clean off my brush and put a little orange on it. This might not work because it's wet. I would dry it with a hair dryer here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, where do I want it? I think I kind of want it down a little bit. Oh, it's not even really showing. I think it's kind of dirty. I didn't bring anything to crochet today because I knew I wanted to... Not that I don't watch all of them, but I really wanted to watch this one. Oh, well, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do it more like a uh, little illustrator. Yeah, yeah. Just oh. to sort of, um, I don't know, like out of respect or just to pay. Mm -hmm. I guess respect to Mr. Shepherd. Shepherd? Mr. Shepherd. Yeah. Um, uh, Chase popped in with his 999 and his little goat emoji. Hey, Chase, man, thank you so much. I really need to paint another goat. <laughs> and name it Chase. Should name it Chase. Should name the goat Chase. That uh, works for goats. Yeah. Gravy asked, what are you looking forward to next year? Hmm. Oh, my art show in June. I'm True. Ready for that. What am I looking forward to? I'm just going to wave, like, wait, like, do that. Uh, but I'm going to do it off camera because I'm going to really do uh. it to help dry it a little bit without doing the hair dryer. Um. What's happening next year? I don't know. I'm trying to think if we have... Oh, I'm in um, Acrylic Works 10. I don't think they call it that anymore. I think it's Artist Network Magazine. Oh. Mavis in the Middle is in it. Hmm. So that'll be f fun to look forward to. I think that comes out in the fall. 2023. What's happening in 2023? Yeah, I like this tape. I'm going to end up liking that sky better. That's the way it goes when I do it wrong or do it, you know, the way I didn't yeah. plan. Okay, so I think I just used a little bit bluer. I did. I used a little, this blue. So it's a little bit of phthalo blue, quite a bit of white mm -hmm. uh, for the snow just to change the color up a little bit. And really, your sky is usually the lightest, like in a landscape. But I, I did it differently here. Just to give it some, some color around poo. All right, so I'm just gonna go side to side. Did I interrupt? I interrupted you, I think. No, I'm still just. I'm like, wow, I got no plans. <laughs> I 
that's what I'm thinking because I, I have no idea what's happening in 2023 that I already have planned. I don't have, I mean. I'm excited for another birthday. <laughs> that's early 2023. That's February. Are you? I don't know. No. I, I, I feel Usually, like after 21, you, you're kind of like, they're not as exciting anymore. Oh, yeah, they're not. Well, I think you get a little grumpy because it's in February. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when you were young, you weren't crazy about it. Well, because, like, everyone got to have the swimming birthday parties yeah. when I was a kid. We discussed this before. Yes, I, I know. That's how that's how hurt I am by it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to hear about it every time yeah, it comes every up. every time. Every time we talk about birthdays. Emily didn't get a swimming birthday party. I guess I did when I was a little older because that one year we got to go to that thing that's in town that's not... It's kind of like the Great Wolf Lodge, what's that oh, called? Oh, yeah. It was just kind of like a hotel that then added a little water park yes. kind of thing on it. And I was think it called for my... Was Coco Keys? Yes. yes. For my 13th birthday, we went there or something like that. That was fun. My sky got kind of dark. Gravy said, Chase, did you get spoiled during Christmas? <laughs> I think the most... the. I If I'm speaking for Chase, I think the Christmas present... Um, we were most excited about was, um, he got Kewpie mayo, which is, I think, a Japanese mayo, and it's supposed to be the best mayonnaise, which sounds like a really weird gift, but, oh, we had it yesterday, we tried it, it's so good, and I jokingly, like, when Chase opened it, I jokingly said, like, this is gonna be the favorite gift, watch this be the favorite gift. The jar (laughs) mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, and I was, and then, um, we both tried it yesterday and Chase and I both like made eyes and we're like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'll have to try it. If you, if yeah. that's okay. Mm-hmm. And it comes with this cute, so like Chase said that there's two little, so there's a normal squeeze cap. And then if you twist off the squeeze cap and there's like a star shape that you oh. can squeeze it into. And I was like, that's so cute. Oh, that is neat. Oh, Lisa says, love poo. Me too. I was, I said, we have to do this. We have to do this. Well, yeah, it was Emily's idea, which is a great idea, but I'm like, it took me a while just to figure out, I want to make sure the illustrations were from the first book, because mm-hmm. the second, third book are not um, in public domain. And then Emily found an, an article, she was just reading it to me again before the live, that um, the red t-shirt is trademarked. So that's not okay to use mm-hmm. and hopefully we haven't it makes me nervous because i don't want i don't want to deal with Dis, i suppose it's disney disney is pretty copyright what's the word free copyright free what no disney will they like to defend their copyright oh and they have the money to do it yeah i and you'll see a lot of, and you'll mm-hmm. say, oh, but I see a lot of Pooh Bear on Etsy, or I see a lot of Pooh Bear on, mm-hmm. on YouTube. Well, they're just getting away with it. Yeah. I don't want to. Until wanna, they don't. Yeah. I don't want to, I'm not going to mess with that. Let's see here. I was going to, yeah, I did research for today's episode. Episode? <laughs> today's Yeah, it's live. an episode. Um, oh, it's wet. Because just in, um, in 2022... Pooh Bear became public domain. Um, the only the first book. Only the first book, yeah. Um, only the first illustrations. Only the first co- the first and book that, copy. That also happened to Pinocchio recently too, which is why like all of a sudden you saw, like like there's a Pinocchio video, a, like a like kind of a darker, not I don't know if it's scary, but like a darker story of like Pinocchio, there's like a video game coming out. And there's apparently a Pooh Bear horror movie coming out. Oh, geez, that sounds like terrible. next year or something. Um, but uh, so if you like notice that all of a sudden a lot of Pooh Bear things were coming out or something, or like Pinocchio, next year Mickey might be, the old, old Mickey might be free unless they figure out another way to. They've extended that a couple times. Yeah, extend it. Um, if you start noticing a lot of that, that is why. But yeah, right at the beginning of the year, I was like, huh, a lot of people are doing Pooh Bear collabs. And then somebody that I follow, um, also has like, they also have like a clothing company and they were talking about, they were doing on their podcast, they were talking about how they did, they were doing a Pooh Bear, like, 
collab basically, but they didn't have to get the approval because he was co- he was like copyright free. So I was like, oh. Um, but when I was doing the research <laughs> for it, was that really long winded? No, that's okay. I was just waiting to say something. Oh, Go you ahead. can say. You can say. It's no. a good breathing spot. Oh, okay. So I did a Rachel Ray, and you can see that my backgrounds are different. But that happens. I mean, you know, every time you paint something, I kind of like the redder in here. Maybe oh, yeah. we'll see. Then I used the. This was dry a day or so, and I used a trace ball on top of it. And then I was thinking. Sometimes people get upset. Like I made these little black marks. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was just wondering. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is use the Posca pens and outline it almost like I'm using an ink pen. Like uh, I can't remember what E H stands for. Mr. Shepard did and kind of keep it more like looking like his you could just paint it mm-hmm. but i think as long as we're at a stopping point m it's almost a half an hour I'll oh do, shoot i'll do a quick thank you or do oh. you need to finish your thought yeah nine it's nine minutes till that freaked me out yep you can yeah totally do your thank yous oh okay so i just want to i just one person this week nancy d thank you so much for sending money through paypal super appreciate it um i ordered a daylight light and I don't know if it'll help with videoing, but it might help with photographing. Oh, yeah. And it was on sale for, it was like $80 on Amazon and on sale for 50 So I used a little Christmas money, a little PayPal money, and I got <laughs> that. And then I'll let, I'll let you guys see it in one of the videos once it arrives. And then the only other thing is next week is eyes for impatience. Those little flowers that, like, I plant them in the shade around my house. I don't know if they have them where you are. We're going to paint from a reference photo for that one. Okay. That's the end of the commercial. Okay. Um, and before I go back to my thought, if you remember, I, I totally. I'm. Uh, I'm. I also. I so I put an event <clears throat> in my phone for like a year from now. Um, Gravy said, "Any ch- any changes planned for the channel, Emily and Annie?" Um, I mean, not on the books. Like this will happen. I think it just depends on, you know, if we grow more. Like. Maybe equipment would change if we don't really <laughs> grow much more than equipment stays the same kind of thing. Yeah, like, well, I got the like between PayPal and Christmas money. Yeah, mm. so I think that just depends on growth and everything. But we don't have any, like, hard plans, like, we have to meet this quota or no, our whatever. Bi- our biggest change was the lives. Yeah. Have we been doing them a year? Yes, <clears throat> I think so. Um, At least, maybe even two. Or so a year I- and a half, I don't know, when we started. I'm going to lightly draw the Posca pen and ink this, and then paint it. Now, maybe I want to paint it and ink it. I won't know till since I'm starting with ink. Mm-hmm. We'll figure that out down the road. But I put a note in my phone for, like, the 20-something of December, and it's a, a, or like on a calendar event, and it's what changed on the channel this year. So then maybe, oh. like, this time next year, I can we can talk about how much we've grown... All that jazz. Yeah. I know we hit 5,000 this year, and that was cool. And we're already at seven in some change. But yeah, um, we kind of just, we want to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. People like when they buy the originals that they can go see me paint it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a cool touch. His nose is so weird. I might just kind of flatten it. Oh, p- um, piglets? Yeah. But, let's I'm, see. I might have to come back and redo all this, too. Oh, Bonita said, Annie, how quickly do those pens start to dry, start drying out? Um, like, on my canvas, or like... I think dying? Dying? Like, I don't know. How long have I had the pens? They still work. A work. while. A long while. I, did I buy them last Christmas or the Christmas before? At least last Christmas. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it can take a couple minutes to dry on the canvas. Hmm. And Gravy says 7.14. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I just thought today we hit another 100. And that was, what, last week we just barely hit 7? Okay. Sorry, I'm focusing. I think. You're fine. I'm, I think I'm just questioning, like, not a real question. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, that was last Here, week. this might help me. I was trying to, like, look far to see... But if you want to think and paint, I can go back to my public domain research for poop. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, let's see here. 
Yeah, this is going to take a while. It's going to be kind of tedious. It's not like there's a lot to... Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be different. I don't... I, I can't say I've ever done this. Oh, the little cute Posca, like, illustration Well, an outline, like it's an illustration. Yeah. So, let's see here. Um, so, the characters from... Oh, no, I'm going to have to say it. A.A. Milne? M I L N E S or no no oh. S that's the that's the possessive anyway 1926 classic Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh are free um, to use legally without repercussions U S copyright copyright law means that works of authors are available to use either 70 years after the author's death or 95 years after publication um, and that's the case for Pooh let's not make it simple. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but it does not mean that every character is free to use. No. Um, be just, for example, uh, Tigger did not appear in the first book. He appeared in the later book. So he is not free to use as of yet. Um, so instead of making solid lines, I'm just kind of, like snow has been kicked oh, up. Yeah. I'm making them more dashed and open. It's cute. Sorry, Hen. I just felt a paw. No. I'm done. I like. Um, and not all of the character is public domain. Aspects, aspects of Pooh, um, Pooh's appearance, like his red shirt, remain trademarked by Disney, even if the character itself isn't. Uh, this is due to the differences in American law between trademark and copyright. Yeah. Um, and copyright can never be reintroduced, but trademark can be applied for and renewed. So I'm assuming the red yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, but Congress extended Mickey Mouse. Yeah, um, which I'll talk about a little bit too. But I think that's, so red Pooh Bear t-shirt will forever be copy or be trademarked. Cause you, they can, as long as they, you know, never lapse and someone takes it, yeah. it'll be, it'll never be available. They'll try, they'll do their, Disney. they'll do their Disney darnest. Disney or somebody will do their darnest to, there. Kind of let that dry. They'll do their darndest. Let's see here. Oh, Gravy says mine lasted two years for the Posca pens. Oh, gosh. I almost feel like mine are that old. But I don't know. Um, oh, and uh, Gravy says the early black and white movies are now being sold in DVD collections because of public domain. Yes. Very true, very true. So, and later in this article, it talks about Disney, or Disney, about um, Mickey Mouse and how he will be up again in um, technically the end of 2023, unless they do a little finagling like they have. They, it says technically, let me pull up my other article. I'm like, Mickey Mouse, the original Mickey Mouse was supposed to be in public domain in like eight, 1980 something originally. Let's see here. I don't know if I'm going to like this. <laughs> oh, I like. Well, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's not a normal painting for me. Well, you're not going to like it, and then it's going to sell right away. Because <laughs> that's how it always goes. That is how it goes. I think the last one you didn't really love was that rooster, and I was like, ooh. And then it sold, like, the first week you took it there. Yeah. Um. So, Mickey Mouse, they've been finagling the old... And that's like the old Mickey Mouse, like the Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse. They've been weaseling ways through Congress to keep him under copyright. And as honestly, they're the, uh, they're a big reason that they're, the copyright is the way it is today, the 70 years after death, because they keep slowly pushing and pushing and pushing. Yeah. Um, because uh, the Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse was first created in 1928, and that was when copyright um, protection lasted for only 56 years from publication or registration. Um, so originally, he was supposed to be up for grabs or up for free use in 1983. Mm -hmm. um, but before that could happen, uh, Congress passed the Copyright Act of, seven, of 1976, which extended term copyright protection to 50 years after death of author or 75 years after death of author if the work was made for the author's employer. This um, 
that gave Mickey an additional 20 years, pushing it to 2020 or 2003. And then they pushed you, you it. You need a, a drink of water. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that breath? Um, there was another bill that was passed, which was mockingly called Mickey Mouse's Protection Act. This legislation extended copyright protections to 70 years after death of author, and in some cases, even longer. By this act, Congress extended the lifespan of Mickey Mouse's copyright to its present duration, which, sets, which, which is set to expire at the end of 2023. I feel like um, we should clap or something. That was quite the... I have one more little bit. Just that, so that's the Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse, and I believe that's the Mickey Mouse that, like, I mean, I don't even know if they really use him much anymore. I don't know either. Well, I'm sure they resurrect him for stuff. Am I in? I haven't even paid attention, but I'm in frame. Yeah. Every time I look up, you are. Okay. I'm trying to press light so it doesn't catch the canvas. Or barely press. Every once in a while, I get a little splatter. Probably should skip, too. I would forget that. It, that probably will look better. Um, and it's specifically, like, that black and white iteration of him that is, will be up for grabs. Because Steamboat Willie is like Mickey Mouse before he's Mickey Mouse, basically. Or is he Mickey Mouse in the movie? I don't know. Uh. But the Mickey Mouse as we know him with his red shorts, yellow buttons, all that jazz. Um, the version of Mickey Mouse that we all know and love today is under copyright protection until 2030. Um, but I'm assuming, oh, Disney also has trademark protections on that version. So I bet his oh. yellow or his red shorts, yellow buttons is the part that just like Pooh Bear with the t-shirt that they have trademarked. Mm -hmm. So you'll never be able to do, even if they can't save him, you'll never be able to do the Mickey yellow shorts or red shorts, yellow button. It gets confusing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many of these black marks I'm going to put in here. I can come back and put some, maybe I'll just kind of... Wiggle. Oh, Gravy clapped and then, and, and then did like a breathing emoji. Yeah. <laughs> um, <sighs> and Jennifer says, I collect Steamboat Willies. Disney still makes merchandise. So they are probably oh. doing all they can right now to figure out how to. I don't blame them. Extend the trade, the copyright. Well, yeah, but it kind of makes it worse for everything else because they can't just make a, this only protects Mickey. You know, only Mickey Mouse, I guess Congress <laughs> Only Mickey Mouse is protected and you cannot use him in any shape or form. Um, it has to then protect everything. So then that just extends, you know, like technically Pooh Bear would have been up for grabs a lot earlier. Or Pinocchio would have been up for grabs a lot earlier. Or what's another? There was another big one that I saw. I'm, I'm focusing on... You're fine. I'm talking to myself, really. Well, and I'm not going to get all the branches just right here. Mm -hmm. But... Um, it kind of, so, if the the beauty of copyright and, like, or public domain, just call it good. they kind of screw that over with that as well. Well, I, you know, I mean, if I had drawn Mickey Mouse or owned it, I would want to keep making money on it. But, I don't know. I mean, there's a downside to that, too. I mean. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the person that made original Mickey Mouse, he's. Or Pooh Bear is long gone, you know? Yeah, I'm hoping this is dry. Maybe I'll work on the um, on the snow a little bit. Here, we'll do a screenshot. I, I held up the other background for a screenshot, too. Sometimes I forget to do that. Okay, are we in? Oh, Gravy says Felix the Cat. Oh, probably. Yeah, he's public. I believe Felix the Cat's public domain. But technically, depending on when he would have been up for public domain, he could have been up a lot earlier if yeah, it wasn't for Mickey. Be Betty Boop, I don't know how old she is. I'm, trying, I'm just hesitating where to start because I just don't know. That's fine. Um, let's try. But I hope everybody loved my research paper. <laughs> and you read it out loud in front I of the class. I did. But yeah, I just think it's, um, I mean, because I think it's funny that, like, I mean, obviously Disney is a, I, questionably a monopoly at this point since they own so many things. Like, I don't even, do they still own Fox Sports or did that, were they blocked from that because they 
that would then would deem them monopoly. Doesn't matter either way. But like the fact that they have, I just think it's funny that this like chill theoretically this children's show. You know, you go to this theme park when you're a kid, and you know, happy whatever's has the that insane amount of money to be able to sway Congress and to like protecting their their I don't know their characters. Yeah, pay lobbyists or whatever mm -hmm. that works. Mm -hmm. Like that's Mickey Mouse money. <laughs> that looks like it's dry. Yeah, it does. All right, I think what I should do is kind of work left to right. Although I'm tempted to put, I said it like I said it earlier, in the snow. Well, I appreciate you doing that too because it's like we're trying, we're we're doing absolutely everything we can think of. So I'm, I'm thinking this is kind of a hill. Mm -hmm. You can't tell in the black and white drawing, so I may have to go right back over what I drew, but yeah, I'm going to put in um, kind of a bank. Yeah, is that my disclaimer within the thing? <laughs> yeah, that we, we, we're trying to do our research, mm -hmm. we're, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I have my, there's our verbal disclaimer, Disney. Well, and I'm more comp I'm copyright sensitive. Is that a good way to put it in? Mm -hmm. Since I license my art on project products and manufacturers are copyright sensitive. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, a lot of them. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and put that tree in there. Um, I want to make sure. I thought this would be. I it's really fun. Cute. I I hope you guys try it because it's. it's Copy somebody else's work, you'll learn stuff. You know, I don't know exactly what you'll learn, but you also kind of stretch yourself because I don't normally do that. You know, everything you paint, of course, helps. Maybe I'll do this. Just kind of playing with it. I don't know if I like it. Oops, this color. I went for my sky color. Go for my, and it can take some of the pressure off too, just like the traceables. Mm hmm You know. Ah, oh, dang it. What? I was gonna say, um, because uh, what would be extra cute and like kind of sentimental? We're just gonna have to. So this is. I'm gonna preface this with we just have to continue to do. Hang on, I also need to do some light math, and I'm not good at math. Um, we just have to do YouTube for another, oh, <laughs> 47 years, um, <laughs> and Snoopy will be public domain. Oh, I used to draw Snoopy from the newspaper. That's why yes. I first started practicing. Yes, so that's why. Like, uh, Snoopy would be, um, I think like. Gramps would help me, with, like, oh, make the head bigger. Yeah, so Snoopy would be a sentimental moment since, like, every time be. you tell the story of, like, how you got into drawing, you copied Snoopy from the newspaper. Yep. All that jazz. So, the, but, you know, we just have to do YouTube for another 47 years. Well, I am, but we'll just, <laughs> I'm 59. We'll just say I'm 60. So that'll make me 107? <laughs> oh, no. 106? Oh, no. I, um, could, I could make it, but I might be a little shaky. Okay. <laughs> I might be a little shaky. I might be a little yeah. shaky. Oh, no. I'm just going to put some white in here. Oops, that kind of dried darker anyway. But, yeah, because if it's the 70 years, unless they push it, unless they push it, if it's 70 years after the death of the person that created Snoopy, he died in 2000. So we have to, 2070 is when we can hopefully use Snoopy. Yeah, Got to wait a while. I don't know if I did the math right. I'm not sure if I heard the right year. Um, it was 47 years from now. Oh, okay, so I did. You did the math right. So maybe we'll just stick to Pooh Bear and maybe do a... But you like Mickey's stuff, too. Oh, I like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I had Mickey Mouse on my watch for a long time. Mm-hmm. Oh, what, what, did you have the Mickey or did you have the Minnie? Oh, I had the Minnie. Mm. Mm. This is the, um, do, can we officially give somebody a job? Gravy said hit that like button again. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. I'm getting a little hung up on the snow. I like that, though. That's, it, 
I mean, it's what its intention is, but that it subtly makes the path. I like that. Yeah, the path might be a little too blue. Mm -mm. But I, it might, it's going to change too when I um, put in some dark blue or like dents in the snow. I think I'm going to, I, I, paint, I colored this red, but I don't know if I really like that. I might, um, oh here, let's make a brown. I don't, I might need that orange, so I'm going to make a, I keep worried that I'm going out of frame. Mm, you're good. As long as you stay in your little tape. I'm pretty good. Your tape pen, you're perfectly fine. Okay. Your little tape gate. <laughs> I'll try to pick it up and paint too. I just, when I was doing the snow. So nice to have fresh air in the house. I know. It's 40, so, what did I say? I don't know, 40 something. 40 something degrees, let's break out the shorts. 42, let's break out the shorts. I wore a full coat here thinking that it was a little chillier outside and also that it might be chillier when we go home, when I go home, but I think I'll be fine. Uh, you can make brown a bunch of ways. I, I tend to always go for the orange and then add a little black to it. And then just adjust if I want a rusty brown, add quinacridone if I want more of a yellow, yellowy brown, add cad yellow. I've got a number four round from Artist Loft. Actually, I might lighten this up a little bit. I'm just gonna... I don't know if I even like that. I just can't believe that Pooh Bear is this old, though. I don't think I read it or was, had it read to me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a big one in our house that I remember. I just shifted the color a little bit. I had the Pooh Bear bedroom. So what's nice is you've got the black ink. Oh yeah, you did with the bright mm -hmm. yellow walls. I, the, they almost kind of hurt your eyes when you looked at it, is yeah. how bright my least, bedroom walls were when I was little. At least it was a half a yellow. I loved it. I loved that yellow. You just stare at it for too long and your eyes kind of start to water. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are my kid. <laughs> Let's see, I'm thinking the light's coming from over here. We've got Mr. Sun there, or oh, Mrs. Sun. I've been calling it Mrs. Sun. Oh, okay. I can. So I'm gonna put a little. Ooh, I want that to flow. Could be either or. I'm Mrs. Sun. I just made a sun and threw some glasses. Gravy said the warmest till Friday. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be pretty warm on Friday still, right? I don't know. Today, I'm not gonna look Thursday, at my phone right now. Friday. Oh, Saturday. It says 43 here. Monday says 49. Wow. I'm gonna have to fill the hole of dirt. That's by the foundation. <laughs> um, Jennifer said, we'll be up in the 70s for a while. Ooh, Ooh. They must be in the south. Jennifer, no, no. Well, maybe that's normal for them. She did the sweaty emoji. Oh. <laughs> like the hot and sweaty emoji. I'm just putting... I, oh, sorry. sorry. Nope. What are you gonna say? I was, I'm putting some dark blue just to have a shadow because there's a clump of whatever. Now I'm just scribbling because I don't know where I want it. Mm -hmm. I could never, because if it's up in the 70s this time of year, I can't imagine how hot it gets in the summer. Too hot. I would melt. I hope my glass doesn't make, I didn't bring a quiet glass. Oh, that'd be all right. So I might make Piglet a little too pink but we can tone him, him down. I, I think Piglet's a boy. And I might um, paint his front of his face almost white. Piglet is a boy. I think so. I might just, I don't know if that's gonna work, maybe. So what I'm thinking is there's gonna be like a right glow on everything, a right side glow on Piglet mm -hmm. and Pooh. That'd be cute. Where you kind of make it up depending on which way you think things are bending. You know what it's a little too late for would be adorable. <laughs> well, I could paint on the next one that I don't paint during the live. Is like paint two of these. 
is if we did get a reprint, because, you know, the original originals are really expensive, but if we got a reprint copy and then you painted it on the cover of the book. On the cover of a copy of the book? Yeah. Like the, re you know, remember how you had the reprint in the Amazon oh, cart? Yeah. That'd be so cute if you printed on the outside, if you printed, if you painted like this, like one of your Pooh Bear sketches on the cover. That would be. It'd be adorable. You could do that for me. I will. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm going to add a little pink to this. It's going to make it red-ish. Oh, here, me. I'll just use this color right here. I'm going to make this ear orange. And I'm probably, oh, here, it's probably teeny tiny. It's probably getting a little fussy. I don't know if you need to do that. Just add a little orange in there. And then I think he's kind of this darker pink on his foot. I didn't think about how little some of this was going to be. Oh, we want to keep the warm now. Bonita said, our lakes are thawing out, which means we don't have to break the ice for the livestock. Our wind chill got to negative 35. Been oh, a rough yeah. week. So Glad to see warmer weather for the rest of the week. Yes. We will take all the warm weather now. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose we got, did we get down to 42 if we want to compete? Yeah. We're a little <laughs> further north. Yeah. It got, it I mean, got it's just cold. So the wind cold. chill is just so cold. It was, wasn't minus 14 air, te actual mm -hmm. temperature. Yeah. So he's blue. I might make it just a smidgy. I might make a little. Huh, had a dirty brush. I was gonna say I might make it a little purple. <laughs> and, and gravy said that's what make my, made my Santa pop was the blue rim lighting. Um, it's something new I'm playing with. That's fun. That is fun. Yeah, I like the. Makes it feel like wintry and chilly with the blue lighting-ish, the more blue tone. I think his clothes are normally blue, but... Um, oh, that's cute. How do you warm up purple, make it more... Red. Pink. Yeah, more connected. I'm gonna need it lighter too, which is gonna orange. make it a little chalky. Which is almost his skin color. Probably should have left it blue. We've got 19 friends with us. Hey, friends. Thanks for joining us. I was just telling Chase. I, did I say this out loud already? I was just telling Chase before I left. Like, I don't. I'm interested to see how today goes because we've never done it in between the live in between the holidays. This isn't the best brush to mix with. That almost looks black. That's all right. Kind of lost my original piglet color. But really, I mean, you can... I still think about the person who popped in once and said, is this paint by number? I'm like, yeah, especially this one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, with all the outlines and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but I think mm -hmm. that really takes also some of the edge off. Like, mm -hmm. Have fun. I'm going to try to see if I can get a little orange glow going. He has a red scarf. Aw, that's sweet. I don't know if it, I think, I think I copied it. I don't know if the original one, original one was in color. There might have been maybe one color plate because that had been so expensive. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know. Is it E.H. Shepherd? E.H. Shepherd. Winnie the Pooh, 1926. Woozle. This is woozle hunting. Oh. They're woozle hunting. W-O-O-Z-L-E, mm -hmm. -O -O -E, I think. Yeah, doesn't... The cover is colorized a little bit. In... Well, some of the newer versions, the reprints are colorized. Oh, okay. It's really hard to tell. Piglet has like a blue body in the colorized image I see just right off the bat. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave that alone. 
Oh, and well, that's a different color eyes. Piglet still has a blue body. Yeah, there's. I yeah, I did some serious looking, <laughs> trying to figure out what I could. Yeah. What's you know what's trademarked, which isn't copyright, but that still is an issue. And... Mm hmm. It appears that Piglet has a blue bod in all of the little colorizations that I think is like from the recolored version. I'm gonna start with orange on Pooh Bear and just see how I like it. And if it's too close, we'll make him a little browner. And I could just leave the yellow that's already there as the highlight. Make it a little redder orange. I think it's just going to need coats. Look at it, it's kind of, I'm lifting it up. <laughs> I guess I need to let that dry. Getting there a little bit. Okay, I definitely want a little brown. Let me know if you like this. I was going to do four more because I found four more images that are from the first book. I love it. Um, and some of it's just that I like the image. There's more images than four. Paint that a little brown. Maybe paint. Mm, Groovy says, like, he heffalump with the, the, like, smiling, laughing somewhat. I don't know. Shut eyes emoji. His mouth open. <laughs> Do, can you picture it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think the woo is I don't remember, but I do the are the woozle and the heffalump like the heffalump? a duo? Oh, I don't know. The heffalump's an elephant. Yeah, and the woozle looks kind of like a kangaroo thing or like a weasel. I don't know. Oh, I didn't. I couldn't remember. But I can't remember if they're like a duo and they they're together in the movies or shows or. I don't know. She kind of almost looks like he has a diaper on. It does. Until you get his shirt in, yeah. Let's put a little. So the more transparent the color, the more layers. If you wanna, to get an opaque or add a little white. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to make a green. Oh, um, I don't know why I said oh. I was just reading Bonita's comment in the chat to Gravy, and she just said that they dropped 42 degrees in just a few hours, and the howling Ugh. winds. Oh, the winds here. Ugh were bad too. Like I think for just how like days, two at least three two, three days straight, and the wind was just slamming into the back of the house. Yeah. Oh the poor Canadians had it before us. Did they? Yeah. And it was just loud. Like it was just consistent loud. Weren't they weren't weren't wasn't somebody talking about it during the last live? Um I think Suzanne had mentioned like really cold. Uh like seventeen inches of snow. Oh, yeah. Was what they were projected to get last live. Yeah, we missed the snow. It scooted more east than they originally forecasted. We only got an inch and a half. Which I'm not, I mean, we need the moisture, but it, with all that wind and the blizzard, I'm going to add some white to it so it covers. Oh, I'm glad, I mean, I'm kind of glad. Let's get s more calm snow. Mm hmm Yeah, let's be thankful for the warm weather. We don't need... Bonita's animals flying away in the winds. No. Wizard of Oz, speaking of. The guard goose needs to stay. It's a goose. I believe it's a, it's a goose. And his name Affleck? Or no? I don't remember. I mean, I remember. I sort of remember, but I don't remember the name. I'm grabbing a little yellow just to warm that part of the shirt up a little bit. Cute. And being due to trademark, this is why his shirt is green in our in our painting today. Yep. Due to the trademark, because he has one in the sketch, but they. I didn't see one colorized of this. But green to make it safe, because that's literally the opposite of red. Oh yeah, thought it might show up pretty well. That too. If you're painting it for yourself and you're just giving it away as a gift, paint the shirt red if you want. True. I'm gonna sell these at the gallery, see what happens. Those look really cute in a little kid's room or someone that collects Pooh Bear. Or... Yeah. 
I think he'll go. He's sweet. Well, I'm going to put on the um, tag, you know, 1926 public domain Winnie the Pooh. Mm -hmm. um, page 35. Ooh. She's got the receipts. <laughs> I need to let it dry because it's, it's kind of, um, it's just sliding. So I keep going. It's working. How much time? I have a half an hour? Yes, you have a half an hour and five minutes. I might paint this a little bigger. It'd be easier to paint Piglet. Oh, it's just so sweet. It's fun. I love it. Fun, fun. fun break. I hope he goes fast because I want him. <laughs> oh, do you want one? You can have one. No, 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 no. I am um, debating about my... Oh, there's kind of a darker blue. I'm kind of trying to work left or right. Actually, I could come with the orange maybe and get another coat on the head. Hmm, Pretty says the real Christopher Robin hated Pooh, I think, in the books. I don't remember the... I never read the I, originals. I never read them. Yeah, I never... Or hated poo books. I only ever really watched the movies or the show. I don't know if it was a movie or a show. Mm -hmm. Just the oh bother. Eeyore. But I think Pooh said oh bother. Oh bother. Oh, oh yes, I think you're right. I, and then I, don't, I don't know what Eeyore would say. I don't know. He was just depressed all the time. <laughs> yeah. I think I need to let dry him, not really. He's kind of get, trying to get a little more shape to him. He's got a lot of glow. I wonder if, um, instead of having it being the sun color, make it orange. I kind of flattened his back of his head out a little bit with the ink. Oh, you did? Just a little. I didn't even notice, though. Just a smidge. I didn't notice. This is so sweet. You like it? I don't know what color he really is. You need grandkids. Well, I, <laughs> Jack says he's not ever. <laughs> Jack was young and going, I don't want to get married. I don't want kids, which is fine. Yeah. No pressure. But that yeah. does put sort of pressure on it you. Does. Oh my gosh, you need to find someone to give you grandkids. Uh, uh, Jennifer says, I have this song deep in the hundred acre woods playing in my head. Little, like, smiley face with the heart surrounded emoji. I suppose we can't play that. Yeah, just everyone sing it. If you know it, sing it to yourself. Because obviously we are, we are too good of singers where it's going to catch on the, um, that copyright thing. Well, where, we've been talking about it. Yeah, where it, it notices, listens. it notices that like, oh, this person's just sounds exactly like the original. And so we're going to copyright them. I like that, painting the brown first mm -hmm. and then glazing the orange over. Sometimes when I yeah. think about it, you can do it the other way, but sometimes the transparent color is kind of nice. You get instant shadows almost. Bonita says, this is adorable, Smiley. You need to remember so to pick cute. it up so you can see it better. That's a little too much brown. Let's grab a little orange. So cute. Do you notice I moved my um, palette back to the left? Yeah. Could you not hang? I am just so used to... It's fine. You know, holding my palette mm -hmm. in my left hand. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not videoing, I still do it. There, I like that a little bit better. A little brown. That's so cute. Should we give him like a little... I don't know if we can give him a shadow. I might be getting too fancy here. And I need to get trees and other things done. <laughs> Give him a little, like his shirt's, I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, hanging away from his body. Yeah, it's not like a a little baby tee or whatever they would call those in the early 2000s. When they're like suctioned to your body, like you're sewn in them. I think those were called baby tees. Because, oh, really? you know, it's the size of like a little baby's t-shirt. Jennifer says, I really like the look of the pen outlining. Yeah, I like its different I, touch. Yeah, I was looking at it t this today going, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And so I did the little test area. I'm like, oh, I think it might work. 
I like a lot. I like a lot. It speeds it up, really. Because I'm just, I'm coloring like with crayons or colored pencils. Mm -hmm. or... You're coloring with melted colored, or your melted crayon. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, if I was using colored pencils, I would put layers of color mm -hmm. to get some of the shadows. I really love how your scribblies of like the little dead bushes or whatever. I just like how the you painted and you didn't perfectly. So you drew the scribbles and then when you painted it, you didn't perfectly match the scribble. Yeah, you know, I love yeah. that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna do footprints and then we'll do the tree because I think I can keep my hand off the footprints. Okay. And then I think this is thalo blue and a little bit of black. I'm just gonna maybe, that may be too dark. Hard to know. Got too much water. Put a lot of too many two twos. Let's try that. I wanna shift it a little in color for interest and then shift it in value. Oh, and then we could even wash. And of course, I don't know. Let's let's go down here and see what this looks like. Go someplace. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. A little test. So really, he would have, like, the snow comes up here. But he would kind of have a shadow for lights coming from the left. Kind of like that. Oh. And I, you could smear it with your finger or not, or just leave the little... Ooh. <laughs> Streakies. <laughs> it was so funny. It's nice to have company here. I like that. Chris Pickle's pretty short. He's so little. Yeah, he just needs a little scribble. Hmm. Cute. So what paper am I going to have to write for when we do more piglets? Should I just, that'll be our disclaimer. I'll just re-say it every time. <laughs> check, check the live on. Yeah, check the live from this date. If, you know. I know we get comments like, I don't like the green shirt. I'm like, I don't blame you. I know. I don't blame you. Pooh Bear's supposed to have a red shirt. So I'm going out, I'm coloring outside the lines on purpose and not filling all of the shape on purpose. Kind of like there's snow. Kind of like they've, they've walked and they've kicked up the snow. And I don't know if you need to do that, but it just feels fun to me. I like that I managed to get it not to the corner. It'd be okay if it went in the corner. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Oh, that works. I think that works. I really like how you have the bigger bloops and then the smaller bloops. Oh yeah, little piglet ones. Little piglet ones. He did that. Of course, I colored it in oh, to okay. help me. I thought that was you. No, he. Um, I'm trying to follow his, his the, true, the true, line. True. I'm trying to follow his line illustration as close as possible. Mm -hmm. Just putting some of my dirtier snow up here. And that's pretty dirty snow. <laughs> you could have made other dirty snow. Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I like the glow on him. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. Piglet could use a little glow, but he's got the sleeve. Maybe we could, um, I don't know if it's going to cover because it's orange, but we could maybe, I don't know if that's even going to show. Put one more coat of orange here. Put a little more orange in his cheek. I mean, he's pink, but he's got a lot of sun glow mm -hmm. on him. He's okay, getting so a nice tan. Trees. Oh, I probably just wipe face paint on my face, but you guys can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I'll start with scribbling in, because it's going to be transparent. Let's just get some stuff going here. Maybe I'll go. We'll just go with our brown since it's transparent, and then we'll add to it. I think that's what's so nice about like illustrators or people who do pen and inks and then watercolors. Mm -hmm. And they'll just kind of add a little color here and there. Yeah. I think that's fun. I think you could take the pressure off. 
I probably already said that, didn't I, Em? What? That doing it this way could take the pressure. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. People have to let me know. We probably repeat ourselves a lot. So. Oh, I'm sure I know I do. Well, I know I do sometimes on purpose. Just I didn't do a darn thing. Pick it up, too. I keep forgetting. But I'm being kind of messy, which isn't in my nature. I like the messy. Yeah, it's not really in my... I was working on a painting today, and I'm like, I go for the... I just jump right in for those details, I'm like, and I paint them out because I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it gets too busy. Yeah. When's, I'm gonna, this is a question for me, because I can just look it up. I wanted to know when the next Winnie the Pooh was. When the next book? Uh, when the next live for Winnie the Pooh. It's in a month. One twenty-five. is the next scheduled Winnie yeah. the Pooh. I'll probably do one each month. We'll do four total. I think there's two woozle huntings. There's one where Pooh Bear's got his head stuck in the pot. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. What's the other one? They're on my desktop on the left. Desktop. On my desktop of my computer oh. screen. Uh-huh. Um, kind of middle left. Middle left. Middle or kind left. of left, kind of up a bit. Middle left, up a bit. Should be like four white, black and white. Ah. I can't remember. I wasn't looking left enough. Oh, that's cute. I can't remember. The one in the honey pot will be kind of simple. But... It's, I think they're looking down at, oh. Yeah, one, they're... there's another, when they're looking down, they're looking at woozle tracks. Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking. They're looking at woozle tracks. Yeah, but I can't remember what. Um, there's one of, looks like Piglet dancing and Pooh Bear just standing there looking at him. Oh, yeah, that's the one I can't remember. Um, and then, yeah, the honey pot in the head. That would be kind of easy, but it seems so classic. Pooh Bear. Yeah. Maybe we'll do it a little bigger. But anyway, I, if you guys are interested or if not, you know, you can like vote or comment or send me a direct message if you don't want to do it publicly. Like, I'm not, I don't like this. I get lots <laughs> of, I get lots of those kinds of comments. <laughs> but I appreciate it. I mean, if everybody's like, no, this isn't, does not interest me, you know. This ain't it. I won't video them. Oh, here, I'm just going to put in some marks. I'm going to grab a little... Black. I love the marks. You're funny. I don't know if that totally looks tangly yet, but I think I'm going to stop on it for a little bit. And Ooh, we could, After I said that, I'm like, we could make some rusty color, maybe. That's what's fun for me is like let's let's play with the color. <laughs> Gravy said Pooh has all the symptoms of diabetes, although he's a hundred plus years old, so dot dot dot. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought of that. Oh, I like that red. Yeah. Just kind of shift the Little color. Burnt. I'm going to add some orange, too, but I thought, oh, this actually might be kind of yummy. Yummy, yummy. I'm almost done, really. I know. I love this one. You could do horizontal strokes, too. Um, maybe I should do that. Here, we'll grab some a little bit more of this red. Maybe warm it up a little bit. I'm worried about this is a little too light. So like some horizontal strokes will kind of shape the tree a little bit. Of course these are skinny. A little hard to do. These are skinny trees. Yeah, I'm really not losing my black line. I lost a little there, but it could be in the snow. I could just leave it. 
<laughs> Boone just has too much honey and needs to become a carnivore. <laughs> yeah, Pooh Bear needs the... I think keto... Is keto the diet that's, like, less sugar and all that? And I think it's technically... They call it keto now, but I think... Which, obviously, it's, it's keto for a reason. But I think technically it's originally, like, um, a diet that you're supposed to... Because it cuts out more le or sugar. So, um... Someone that's like typically di typically diabetic, someone that is diabetic is supposed to follow that diet. Typically? I don't know. Um, I'll I might be like, making that up. I'll go with whatever you. But so the carnivore would help him out. Cut out some of that sugar. At least the sugar is natural though. It's not like. He's just getting ready for winter. It's, this is snow. <laughs> true, true, true. He's going to burn it all off in his Yeah, he's going to take a long sleep and he's going to burn it all off. Be nice to my Pooh Bear. And Granny says glucose in the grains, question <laughs> mark. Yeah, he's... Pooh Bear has a rough diet. So a little black, a little green, a little brown. Kind of a warm green gray. Use a little water, maybe. It's not flowing. Oop. Well, I was saying you could be messy, but I don't want to be that messy. Let's clean it up. I'm always amazed how long it still takes me. We're at an hour and 15 in. Mm-hmm. I need, to, I need to look at it on the live. Oh, let's put some orange. Well, here, let's always think of stuff then. I don't know if I like, I guess I kind of like that bump. Midnight Ghoul says, looks great. Like your name. Yes, that's <laughs> I, me too. I chuckled when I saw it. Halloween fan, maybe? I don't know. Is that from a movie or anything? I don't know. Yeah. It's just a ghoul at midnight. I like that. I'm kind of darkening my tangle. Boy, I've got some pop. Mm -hmm. That sun is... Gravy says, I love it. Thanks. Well, I, I didn't it draw it. Mr. Shepard did, but I really appreciate that it's now public domain because it's fun. Whoop, whoop. It's fun. Fun, fun, fun. I don't know. Oh, orange. I was going to do orange. Get some. I don't know if it'll show. You might need. Oh, it kind of shows. Maybe we'll um, grab a little. A little white or a little yellow and white. Make it more opaque. We could splatter it with snow. That would be going a little off the original. Mm -hmm. That would be cute. That would be cute. That would be very cute. I think Emily wants me to do it. She has that voice. <laughs> the strain. The strain. It's like, oh, that's so cute. adding some sun glow and it's not really showing I might come back with some orange is it showing a little bit a little yeah I see it I just don't have to make everything shout well I'm kind of doing that My paints must be drying. They're not flowing. Oh, yeah, they are kind of a little bit. Tis winter. I kind of went a little Halloween or hocus pocus there. Mm -hmm. I don't know Tis why. Firm. Tis firm when they step out onto the asphalt because they don't know what it is. They think it's a black lake or something. Something like that for hocus pocus fans. Mm, Gravy says, did you like 
Baum Gartner restorations. Did you have a chance to look at them? No, I didn't. I haven't looked at it. I still have the notes in place, I think. Yeah, there's just about a million sticky notes over here. <laughs> I know, eventually I transfer the sticky notes to a whole. To a whole like, list. list. <laughs> so they start as a, a small sticky and then they get put on a big list. Because it's <laughs> annoying to have a bunch of sticky. Yeah. I just do the, like I just have a little um, moleskin notebook that's like Oh, I have one of those too. Pocket size. Yeah. Almost. And then I... Um, I'll make an initial list and then I'll cross things off and then I hate flipping back to that page so then things just progressively get shifted down the list yeah. <laughs> to new pages. Yeah. So there's um, things that I've had on the same list for months. Yeah, I'll rewrite a list. I mean, I just want the list so I don't forget about it. I don't worry if I don't get to everything. Mm -hmm. I do at some point want to... I need to do that. I thought I'd have more time. We cut back on work and I thought I'd have more time to do some things. I think I zoned out a little bit, which is a good thing. I don't know. Is that tangle okay? I need to, I'm on top of it. Oh, yeah, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. I need to stop messing I with it. I love, I love. Should we, um, oh, I want a little, I want a little more, um, shadow on poo. I'm just kind of scumbling a little brown paint on him and sticking, oh, I always have paint on me. I kind of like that I, as soon as I get scared because it's really dark. Kind of gave him a side of the face a little bit. Just grab a little orange. I don't mind that sometimes I cover up the um, the ink drawing. I think that just makes it a little bit more arty, a little more interesting. I think I like that I inked it first. I was worried about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, are things making sense? Yes. Okay. Is that better? Can't tell. You could go, you could go back and do lots of little things I don't know if I needed to do. I kind of like that though. Kind of just varying the texture. Okay, let's splatter him. How's the snow look? Oh, that looks really good on the it line. Looks so good. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna see it in real life. I'm gonna stay. IRL. IRL. Oh, that's sweet. Should a scarf be dark? The piglet scarf doesn't really show. There's yeah. a screenshot before I splatter it with snow. I don't know how square that is. I can't totally. Yeah, I guess you you made him bluer in your sketch, but yeah, his scarf doesn't really show. I can make it darker mm. red. But I think that might blend in. I think in real life it shows better than it does on the video. We could put a little more. I don't know that it's gonna help. We could um, I could lighten up a little bit his head. So if it, like darkening one side doesn't work. Um, then just go lighter on the other side if you want an edge to show better. Lisa and, says, can't wait to try this painting. Love it. Did I say, I don't know if I said, the, um, I put the sketch with my pencil color in it. Oh, I think I did in the yeah, intro in the art friends Facebook group. So I put yeah. a little, um, oh, that helps. reflective light on the back of his head. Mm-hmm. We'll see how that dries. And if anyone does do this painting, I want to see it. And if you're... So you can post it in the the Facebook group if you're a member. Yeah, and we just ask the questions so we can tell you're really you're human. You could say, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I found you wherever. Yeah. Um, 
we don't like keep the information. We're just trying to figure out if you're a person. Yeah. When you don't answer and your Facebook page is locked down, then we don't let you in because we can't tell. We don't want people getting in there and pestering the members. And I, mean, I don't know. Would that be a bot M or yeah a spam account? Or... Mm hmm. Okay. Just to hopefully help weed those out. I think I'm done. Okay. Oh, Susie says this is so cute. I used Winnie the Pooh themes 45 years ago for my son. <laughs> I had a Winnie the Pooh bedroom. Emily had a Winnie the Pooh bedroom when she was... My up, bedroom. Up till about age five? Yeah, up to five. Because we moved. Neon yellow. <laughs> that yellow turned out so much brighter than it was. It wasn't as intense as neon, but it was very bright. And um, I had like those Pooh Bear cling yeah. stick things on the wall. Yeah. Was there a border too? Yeah, there was a Pooh Bear border, and then I had big Pooh Bear, like, cling stick. And then I had a Pooh Bear... Oh, static cling. Yeah, whatever that... Repositionable yeah. decals. And then I had Pooh Bear bedding and Pooh Bear sheets. That Pooh Bear um, top blanket's still in the other bedroom. Yes, that was my... Um, Pooh Bear blankie. I even t I took that to my first apartment. That Pooh Bear blanket. Oh, did you? I don't yeah, I'd kind of use it. I'd, like that was like my sick blanket. Like because it was just comforting. It felt like oh, it's <laughs> like so, home. It's so threadbare. It's so, yeah. It's it's well loved. I'm just gonna use this one. It's already wet. It'll wiggle. Really, I've used. Um, you can use anything. I've used like this little stubby liner guy. Let's just do white. I'm just gonna grab some white. Oops, it's got a little crud in it. A hint of pink in it. I don't think it's going to show. hope it doesn't show. So I'm making milk. If it doesn't come off, add a little more water. Using my Dove chocolate... They are not sponsoring this video, but my Dove <laughs> chocolate foil to cover... Cover Pooh Bear. Oh, did it stick? It stuck to some wet paint. I can see an ear. <laughs> I'm going to get splatters on me. Mm -hmm. I feel like it needs some snow. I like the snow. Even though the sun's shining. <laughs> so, it can be raining on or snowing on a sunshiny day, right? Yeah, the, it's, the clouds have cleared in the, sun, in the sunset. I think it is sunset. Uh, anybody who's read the book or knows let us know. It's getting on my hand. It's probably on my phone. <laughs> All of a sudden, like, there's a big glare on the yeah. camera. Can't see it anymore. Yeah, I don't know if you can... I should probably push my bracelet up. I tend to, like, I try to get them in different spots. It seems like they end up landing on me in the same spots. Which is funny. You can do darker snow, too. I don't know if I'm going to. I like the light snow. It's quieter. So now, do I put a T, because it's colorized by Annie Tro. Do I put my okay. AT on here? I think so. Okay. I wasn't sure. I mean, it is in public domain, so I guess I think so. Yep. I think I've probably got enough snow. Let's see if we need a little snow around our characters. And to be, I think, um, you know, like, people are using the drawings, like these, like what you're doing, and then, like, the clothing line. They put them on, they put this, literally this drawing on a hoodie that yeah. you could buy, or t-shirt, I mean. Um, but it also just makes Pooh Bear himself public domain. So, like, people are doing things that have nothing to do with the Pooh Bear storyline from this book. Yeah, it's true. And whatever. I think this is just probably the safest way, you know? Because yeah. this is literally from the book that is now public domain, or the reason that Pooh Bear is public domain. I think it's the safest way to do it. I'm with you. I'm just putting some big snow, because I like having snow that's close. Mm-hmm. I got an interesting splatter. I like that. Yeah, the little skid. I'm probably going to sign it over here, so. Do we have enough big ones? Yeah. Just dip my. Oh, you say yeah, and I always go. Oh, no, no, no. More. You can go back in for another. People feel it. 
um, another reason I varnish. I'll, I'll put a gel gloss isolation layer on it and then I'll put a satin varnish on it. I think I'm done with that. Randy asks, are Kanga and Rue a part of public domain? I don't no, think I don't they think are. So. Well, I think... I don't know. I know Tigger is not. I was going to get the original book and I decided I didn't need it. Oh, maybe. Because then I would oh. know, you know, I'd have the book. Because you Google and I can't always tell which illustrations are in which book. So, just kidding. Let's see here. Uh, for now, the first book and the including illustrations by in, illustrations by E. H. Shepard are what is now considered public domain, which includes the original iteration of Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Rabbit, Kanga, Rue, Owl, and Christopher Robin. But so, so she is. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, that's it. So only those illustrations in that first book. So the second book, which is not that much later, mm -hmm. you draw Kanga or Eero from that, it's not in public domain. Correct. Yeah. If just, you, if just you, to be really clear. Yeah, if you draw that specific drawing. Yeah, because this is definitely a drawing from mm -hmm. the first book. Sorry, honey, I cut no. you off. Because I don't want people thinking, oh, all the Winnie the Pooh is in public domain. No, you'll see it on the internet, but it's not. Yeah. Just book number one. So Kanga and Rue are. Yeah. And Owl and Christopher. Eeyore. These snowflakes don't really show anyway. I'm trying to picture what Rabbit looks like. Oh, he has long ears. Oh, he's yellow. Isn't he yellow? Oh, kind of, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was always worried. Kind of. Or oh, the I boss. Think, think... Was he the boss or was he worried? I don't know. I mean, we never read the stories, but... <laughs> I watched the movie. That was it. I think I'm done. I keep doing stuff. That's so sweet. That's sweet. That's so sweet. We got some... I would like a little bit better glow on Piglet. But I don't know if I'm just... I'm just not going to get it. I think I needed to leave it. I could paint it white. Instead of trying to get yet another layer. But I think it works. It works. I won't remember that thought, you know, in a week. Mm -hmm. Unless it's something that needs fixing. I'm looking for my Posca pens. Oh, here, you guys probably want to screenshot, maybe. Enjoy. Let me know if you paint it. I love it. That was fun for me. That was fun for me. Oh, God. <laughs> more importantly more importantly that was fun for me actually maybe should I sign it and let's see what color this is I'm not disappointed that I didn't bring any crocheting oh good I didn't disappoint mm -hmm. actually I don't know if that's gonna oh that might show mm, pardon me I think it worked well to have messy footprints that don't line up. Whoop. That don't line up. Uh, and I could come back and darken this branch, but I think that works. It's like it's down in the snow. Oh, did you see something, honey? Oh, no. Gravy said, what's the next holiday with, uh, in parentheses, with a character? Valentine's Day? I don't know. Does Valentine's Day have a character? Aside from, like, Cupid, but, like, a specific... think Valentine's Day I mean yeah, there's baby New Year I guess if he's a, if he counts <laughs> wow I finished like right on the dot no you did um Bonilla says thanks lady for a great live evening oh thanks for coming we love having you here Susie says thank you thank you for coming everyone I like it a lot better than the color my color pencil version but it gave me the roadmap so I didn't have to think as much and while I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Lisa says, thanks. <clears throat> I choked. Thanks for the video. Oh, yeah. Thank you for this coming. Was fun. I, I like super this appreciate one. it. It's fun to get to know you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, Em, any, should I wait or? I think we're good. We're out? We're outie. Right, I'm gonna 5, I'm going to paint the other one probably tomorrow. So I'm going to save my palette. That's a very colorful palette. Yeah, I like. I was just gonna say that's like kind of rainbowy. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got like all the colors. Well, thanks for coming. We super appreciate all your support. Thanks for all the likes, comments, shares, all the YouTubey things. 
great big, oh, I gotta scoot the guy down. <laughs> scoot that down. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.